Hello guys, I'm Alex and this is my first video about how to play the hand pen. So let me show you the basic sounds we can play on this magical instrument. First of all, we have the central note, or you can call it the ding. It is kind of bass drum of a drum kit, but on the hand pen. Next, we have the rim shot or accent. By using these two sounds, we can create lots of rhythmic patterns. We also have tone fields, which actually allow us to add melodies to our playing. Of course, these are not all the sounds we can play on the handpan. In next videos, we will discuss this in more detail. Each hand pen has its own special scale. The scale is like mood of your instrument. This is element that makes hand pens different to each other. Regardless of the scale type, the notes of the scale can be played like that. It's similar to how shoelaces are tied on your shoes. The notes of the scale are indicated by ordinal numbers and you need to memorize them. The first, the second, the third, fourth, the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. To play the scale you should use your hands alternately, starting with the right hand. Play the notes closest to you with your thumbs and the rest with your index fingers. Practice playing this slowly until you gain confidence in your playing. An interval is any two notes played at the same time or sequentially. In this video we will focus on intervals played at the same time. There are intervals that sound beautiful and harmoniously, while others sound dissonant. On each hand pen, these intervals are located in different places, because different hand pens have different notes. You can play neighboring notes with one hand, while notes that are far apart should be played with both hands. Explore the various intervals of your instrument, because intervals can make your playing more interesting. Ok, let's play all the note durations with a metronome. Using your imagination, you can create different rhythmic patterns using different note durations.
All right, guys, let's play our first composition on the handpan. First, we will start with the simple rhythm and then we will add some melody. So, our rhythm will sound like this. Let's add some variations by adding one more ding. Practice a bit to make this part sound more confident and then we can add some melody notes to our composition. Mostly notes can be added by replacing parts of the basic rhythm. In this case we will add notes in the second part instead of the last accent. You can choose the notes that sound good especially on your hand pen and memorize them. Finally, in the end of the composition we can play a four note phrase. Ghost notes are barely audible touches on the body of your hand pen. With the ghost notes you can know which hand to use for playing a particular note at any point in the composition. By playing ghost notes you can accent any note, replacing a ghost note with any other. But first of all, you need to learn how to play 8 ghost notes and 16 ghost notes with a metronome, without any mistakes. Tablature is a system of symbols that designate specific sounds. The ding is designated by the symbol D. Rimshot marks T or K depending on which hand it played. We also have a slap and notes that are designated by ordinal numbers. Ghost notes are indicated by dots. All of these symbols are written in a grid that represents the bits of a metronome. I will give you an example. In the future our tablature will be expanded as we learn new sounds. First let's play the basic simple rhythm. Now let's make it more interesting, for example.
Practice playing this rhythm and remember it. It should sound easy and effortless. We are going to add short melodic phrases at the end of each line. To make our composition even more interesting, let's add a few melodic notes to it. I hope you enjoyed this video lesson, have a good practice and see you next time!